button right there. All right. Alice in Wonderland. In the building. Man. I mean, wow. I mean, whoo. What have you been up to, little lady? Oh, just living that American dream, you know. Jeez, how how long has it been? I, I know it's been I know it's been a little oh. minute. I think uh I think like the, two years. Jeez, it's been that, that long. Was, might have been, yeah. That's that's when you was uh that that when you was a runner up in Ink Magazine, right? Yep, yep. <sighs> wow, man, so. Allison. I think that was right when COVID hit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, COVID was just getting good and ready. <laughs> 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 oh man! So Alice in Wonderland, man, let us know what you've been into for the last few years, man. You still, of course, you still trucking. That's you still trucking. Are you still trucking in the big boy? You still got that long nose? What's up? Yep, I have a W9 now. That's beautiful that we're working to make a show truck eventually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still, uh, um, still driving for the same company or no? Um, I'm not with Shugel. I left there, I think it was briefly after I talked to you last. Wait, 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 and wait. And then I went and wait, 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 wait. Back, back, back it up. Let me, Hold on. Let me hit that. Let me, let me hit that. Beep, beep. You say, <laughs> you say Schwoogle, as in J and R Schwoogle. Yep. Wait a minute. I, I wait. Hold up, Alice. Hold on. I I don't think you was work. When I talked to you before, was you working at Schwoogle? Yep, I was. Oh my God! I I gotta actually go back and I'm, find. I'm I'm. I'm literally on the same road as I was last time when I talked to you too. <laughs> oh my God! I gotta go back and 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 catch myself up with the with the old. Bo- what I you know what? I really don't think we 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 conversated about uh uh about your about your trucking. I think we I think we you know kept the conversation more close to the the ink uh the ink um magazine. And you was uh yep, you was yep. one of the runner ups. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, you didn't take the take the cake. But where did you come in as far as uh, where did you come in? Top ten. Oh, you was in the top ten. Yeah. God damn, them tattoos was awesome. By the way, you get any more since then, or you still got the same? No, no, because I decided to just kind of go on my own and. I was out hauling turkeys and livestock, and, no, and I'm now no. I'm doing wait, wait, bedding. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We'll we'll talk about that in a minute. Well, I'm I'm still stuck on the tattoos. <laughs> did you did you get any more? <laughs> did you get any more tattoos since uh since the um, magazine? Yeah, I got one. I started doing my body sleeve, so uh, I started on my leg. Okay, so it's gonna. So how how is it gonna? You you're just gonna do the whole entire leg up up the side. How 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 that's yep. gonna be? Yep, the side and the back and everything. So it's gonna coincide with the one that I have on my arm. Has, my trucking one. Has any has any other magazines reached out to you? Any ink magazines? Uh, you know, uh, reached out to you to be to be featured in their magazine. No, nope, but not not since then. No. Wow, man, because you 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 got some you you got some nice ass tattoos though, for real, for real. I Thank mean, you. I'm 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 not a I'm not a well I I'm not a tattoo kind of guy because I I don't have tattoos on my body, but I I think some tattoos on on women, especially if they done tastefully, looks real nice. Now some tattoos yeah. out, now some tattoos out here is just plain garbage. Uh, you know. But I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be here nor there on that part. Uh all right. Yeah, all mine have a story, so that's what's, they just keep adding on to the story of my life. 
All right, that's what's up. All right, so let's flip it, man. So, you, how long you worked for JNR Swoogle? I, I didn't even know that. Uh, like four years. Wow. So you you worked there doing uh, what's that dude's name? What's the safety the old safety director name? Don. You you worked it there yep. doing doing his watch. Yep. Have you have you had any run ins with with him? I haven't. I had I think he retired now. Yeah, he yeah, he's retired, but I'm just saying since you've been there, you you haven't had any run ins with him? No juicy No, they keep asking me to come back. No 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 juicy <laughs> no juicy stories to to, to talk about Don? No. <laughs> no. He was always good to me. They were always really good to me. All right. So, J- so four years uh, with J&R Schwugel, um, and you said they, you know, when when Matt was there, I kind of I kind of feel that when Matt was there, it was it was a good time for me, and I was the one that really put J&R Schwugel on the social media map, but. But after mm-hmm. after Matt left and they, you know, put me with uh, another fleet manager, it just just didn't just didn't gel well with me. So of course, you know, I I up and left. And, yeah. And this is where I'm at now. But man, so you stayed for four years. Um, now that what happened? You 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 got your truck went on your own. Did you get your own authority? What's what happened since then? No, I, well, technically I'm still company, mm-hmm. but I do have my own truck. Oh, okay. I am just leased on to another company. Oh, okay. That's what's up. So did I run you, all their authority and stuff. Did you, did you, did you get your truck while you were still at JNR Schwugel or did you get your truck after you left JNR Schwugel? After. Oh, okay. And you said JNR. Uh, still trying to get you back, huh? Oh yeah, they're trying to get me back. They want me to train them. They're new students, and I'm just like, I was so over it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's not worth I, it. Huh? I, you know, honestly, no. Like I, I had, I mean, I had some amazing students. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. The ones that I had, I mean, I can say all of them were amazing. I mean, I had, I've only had four students there. Cause Mm-hmm. But I, I only had female students, and they're kind of slim pickings there. Mm-hmm. And only one of them I ever had issues with, and oh, she was she was something else. I tell you. <laughs> what what was it? What was it like? I mean, can 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 you tell the story, or or is I mean? What, oh yeah. What was it? What was it like with her? What was? Let me rephrase That's that. That turned me off to wanting to be a trainer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So, what was it like? What What was it like having a difficult student on your truck? You know, most of the time it was great, just because I got along great with all my students. I still, I'm still in contact with the the ones that I enjoyed having, and they have all still left Shugle and they're on to their own adventures now too. Wow. So I still, I still talk to them pretty often, but just the one that broke the bank, I. What I happened? had it up to here, and that's kind of when I left. What, um, what she, happened? She was um, quite the diva. Um, <laughs> she came on board with Shugo, mm-hmm. and they they put her with me, thinking that I would have a better outcome with her because they had a bad taste in their mouth originally and when she went to orientation. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I'll take her on. Not a big deal. Well, she came in my truck, and it was continuously, oh, I need this, I need that. I'm like, I'm sorry, but trucking doesn't cater to you and all your needs. You're going to kind of have to adapt. Right. And she expected me to stop at these stores to get her special water because she didn't drink the water at the truck stop. Mm -hmm. Like anything that was like in the refrigerated section or anything like that because it wasn't her special water. And then we had to, and I accommodated all my students. I had snacks on board. Mm-hmm. I, you know, like I provided them with everything that they needed to succeed. Mm-hmm. And it was not good enough for the student. Mm-hmm. And 
he, we, we couldn't, we were at, you know, shippers and receivers and stuff, and I ended up taking, you know, sometimes, you know, it takes, you know, four to eight hours, who knows what it might be, for them to get the crap off your trailer, you know? Right. And right. I told her, use that time wisely. Mm-hmm. Yep, use that time wisely, let's trip plan, let's do all this stuff. And she was more into talking on her phone and mm-hmm. doing all this other stuff, not paying attention. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't do anything until I eat something. Okay, well, I have stuff here, and we're not going to get out of here for a while, so kind of make the best of it. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like anything you have here. And I said, well, that's why when you came aboard, I said, what would you like me to stock my truck with so that you have some stuff in here for these occasions? Right. And she said, nothing. I don't need anything. Okay, cool. Whatever then. And then it was, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't work because... I, I need to eat something because, you know, I can't think properly when I don't have anything in my stomach. I'm like, okay, well, let's stop and get you something to eat. Well, the truck stopped, obviously. Nothing was good enough. Oh, it was just, it was a complete nightmare. And then she had no depth perception, so she was cutting people off left and right in Texas. I promptly, like, asked my students, like, um, questions that you would see, like, in your CDL book and stuff like that to be like, okay, where do we need to work on? Is it more general knowledge things that we need to kind of go through or mm-hmm. the mechanical things that we need to do mm-hmm. and she literally blew up on me and says I don't need to do any of that stuff because I already have my studio I'm like well clearly you need more guidance on things because you don't know everything right and she got really upset about the whole situation and it was a nightmare and then as we were headed back I don't allow eating while you're driving, especially when you're a new student. Right, right. And you got to be focused. I said, I will drive. Yeah, I will drive. You just eat your thing. Whatever. Mm-hmm. And she didn't want to listen to anything I had to say. I said, I will go into this, you know, the shipper and get the information that we need to get, you know, and the load and stuff. She follows me and I said, no, you take your break. You eat because I need you to be able to stay. Right. She gets out of the truck. I don't allow shoes in the truck. She gets out tramples through the mud, gets back in the truck, and has mud all over inside my truck. Wow. And then she gets notification from Don and the office staff that she's going to be no longer employed with JNR because there was a million other things that went wrong with she with her driving and being prepared and everything else that was going on. She was just not cut out to be a driver. Wow. And she was telling me stories from her past about how she was getting fired and let go at these places because people were turning her in left and right for not doing proper pre-trips and whatever else right. it might have been. And I used to go around my truck and put pink zip ties, everything that she should be checking, and she has to find every single zip tie mm-hmm. that I placed on that truck before we could even leave anywhere. And she didn't want to do any of that. I said, well, then clearly you're not capable of being a truck driver because you can't even do a proper pre-trip. Wow. I would twist the lines up in the back so that... You know, she would have to pay attention. It was the red line, you know, connected to the red line, blue line, whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. And she didn't want to do anything like that. Like, she just was not even, she's like, oh, yep, I'm done. I'm like, no, I watched you. You were on your phone the entire time. You weren't paying attention to anything. Man. And then she would, um, when she got told that she was getting let go, she didn't understand. And I tried to explain to her what was going on. And she just didn't want to have it. And on the way back, it was getting dark outside, and she had to, you know, obviously pack up her stuff that was in the truck because I was going to bring her back to the hotel, and they were going to bring her, you know, send her home. Mm-hmm. And she was so upset and so mad. She literally, and I looked at her and said, I don't allow shoes in my truck. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, I forgot. I'm like, no, you did not forget. You did this on purpose. You did it on purpose. Literally mud all the way from the front seat all the way to the back. On the steps to go up to the top bunk, she had mud on my ceiling of my truck, everything. Mm. So I was pretty upset when I got back. So she just, like, trashed the entire truck. Wow. And I'm like, holy crap, like, what is going on? And then as I'm, you know, I'm like, I, you get stand outside the truck, I'll hand you your bag. And as I'm doing that, I found out she had booze on my truck. She had what? She had bod- liters of vodka she was drinking. What? Yeah. Wow. And they was open? Yep. Yep. Wow. Man, you you had to 
It, it's a blessing that you had to hurry up. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud, I give them no power. Creators go different than ages, to know them later, what will be ours? I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get over. Equation, present, 